everyone, it's Jared Carter here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new video that I've never done before called Social Media Picks My Next Read. Hopefully I will have posted my goals video before this one, but here's a little spoiler for it if I haven't. One of my overarching two year goals is to have my to be read shelf, which is here and here, read down to zero by the end of 2021, so the end of next year. One of the things that I did over sort of the previous years to try and achieve this goal, aside from not buying any books, it also was to have a look at my TBR a couple of times and unhaul books in different unhauls as my taste changes over the years and just to really get rid of anything that doesn't interest me anymore. And to that essence, I feel like now my TBR is pretty much as good as it's ever going to get. Possibly there are one or two books that I could remove from here, but I feel like everything there that's on here, I'm still going to enjoy even as an adult over the next couple of years. And because they look like this, everything looks so exciting and I'm finding it a bit hard to decide what to read next because everything looks really good. And I guess I could just pick a few books and read the first couple of pages or just, you know, blindly run my hands over and decide what to do. But I thought it might be fun to play little numbers games with the people that follow my different social medias and ask them to pick a number from 1 to 53 to decide what my next possible read could be. So the number 53 is probably in contrary to my goals video. So if you've watched that one, I'll link it above if I've posted it. But basically I said that I had, I think 52 books on my TBR, but I've bought one since then, so 53. But rest assured, it is within my goals parameter. I'm allowed to buy a few books in specific series or specific volumes in series so that the later books that I have on the shelf can get read in time as well. I posted a picture of my TBR to Instagram and to Facebook. Nobody replied on Instagram, but that's okay because I'm not very active. I only have, I think I have like about 280 followers, but I'm not very active. I'm probably pushed way down below of people's Instagram feed because of my social media algorithm not <laughs> just had to get rid of some stuff on my iPhone memory so I think the camera's gone out a bit but this is probably a better angle for the video that I'm doing even though I'm a bit further away hopefully my voice is loud enough but what I was saying is that Instagram's algorithm is a pet peeve of mine because I used to love the chronological feed I think I definitely got out of touch with Instagram when they got rid of it and I know that was at least a year or more ago now, but it still drives me mad and I hate it. Anyways, so I didn't get any posts on Inst any comments on Instagram, but hopefully over time, if I post more, more people will comment. But then on Facebook, I had three people commented on my writer Facebook page, all friends and family, but it doesn't matter. Again, I haven't really been active on socials because I didn't really kind of care about the book stuff as much anymore, about posting that kind of stuff, but and I also didn't think I was going to write again last year, so I, I just didn't. I kind of let it all go by the wayside, so I'm, yeah, again, I'm at the bottom of, you know, the sand pile again, and I've got to climb my way back up if I want. So I'm going to do this chronological, so I'm going to pick the, the lowest number and go up from there, and let's find out. I haven't actually seen what number they've picked that corresponds with my books. I haven't seen what they are yet. I've seen the numbers, but I haven't seen exactly what books. So I'm excited to see, and this will be my first reaction to it. Though the first number is going to be spoiled already because my lovely mother, Lee Carter, she picked number one. So that's quite easy to see from a picture, but I'll get the first book out. So that is a thoroughbred book. It is called Down to the Wire. This series is created by Joanna Campbell. It's number 38. And this particular volume is ghost written by Mary Newhall Anderson. Is it called ghost writing when the author's name is in there as well? I don't know. So I'm kind of feeling a bit mixed about wanting to read this one or not. I do enjoy these when I read them. There's something that I still get a lot of joy out of, even though it's a middle grade series that is highly unrealistic. Because I've just finished a massive book, it would be nice to read something really quick. But I read a ton of these towards the end of last year, and it would be nice to have a break with a different kind of novel. 
so we'll see whether mum's pick gets this. So the next number is 38 and that was picked by Mando Wright who's one of my friends from when I used to go to youth group in early high school so we'll do some counting now. So it was one, 38. <laughs> so I'll show you the spine because that's the pretty bit. So that's um, book one, The Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan. And I believe it's the book one in the, I don't think it's the Trader Spy series. I don't, I don't think that's the series, but it's something like that. It's kind of funny that this book, it kind of feels like fate with this one. It's going to be interesting to see what my last comment number is. But I bought this book recently. It's the it's the one that's bumped my number up from 52 to 53. And it's one of the books where I've actually got... So this is the first in a trilogy. And I bought the sequel trilogy. Does that make sense? Like it's the trilogy set after this one. And I haven't read any of these. So what I had to do is one of my goals for this year is to read the entire trilogy, this trilogy this year, so that then I can read the sequel trilogy that I already own. So this is this is something that I need to read soon, this particular volume. And it's actually quite fitting. I did have a bit of consternation about this because I purchased it off Aid Books and I got really excited because I was like, oh my god, you know, the hardcover edition and like I couldn't find it anywhere for a decent price and then it came and it didn't come with a jacket. So I was really conflicted about it and there wasn't any point sending it back because it was my fault. I didn't know that it didn't come without a jacket. I didn't read the fine print properly. But then I would have to, to return it, I would have to fork out shipping again and I would only get a dollar back because that's all I bought it for a dog post shipping. So I've decided that because the spine is so gorgeous, I'm going to keep it and just collect them all in the spines because this, it, well with, without the jacket because this trilogy is kind of hard to come by. So my last number, so it's number 42 which was commented by Sarah Brown, who I went to high school with. She was one of my friends, mainly, I think, towards the end of high school. I think we knew each other to begin with, but, um, yeah, mainly the end of high school, our sort of groups kind of merged together. That's 42. So if that was 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Ooh, a good choice as well. I mean, they're all good choices. So this is Elantris, which is the first... No... I think this is not the first in the series, but it's a Brandon Sanderson novel, and it's Brandon Sanderson's first novel, I believe. Mm, God, I'm excited about this one as well, because I've, I've never read anything by Brandon Sanderson, but I heard that he's amazing, which is why I picked this up. And a lot of people recommend this for beginners into high fantasy and adult fantasy. Oh man. So these are my three choices. So we've got book one, which was said to by Lee Carter, my mum, down to the wire, the thoroughbred one. I don't think this one's going to win. Sorry, I want something different. Then there's The Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan, which was Mando Wright's pick, number 38. And then Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, which is Sarah Brown's pick, number 42. Oh man, I'm really torn. I'm really torn. <laughs> What am I going to do? Okay, what page numbers do they have? Lantris has 615 pages, so that's pretty big. And is the text small? The text is sort of small, kind of average. And then The Magician's Guild, 465, and the writing is actually fairly large. I think I'm going to go with The Magician's Guild. I think that this is a smart choice because I really need... This is like one of my goals. I really need to read it. I think after this, I'm actually, after I film this, I'm going to create, it's only bedtime, but I want to create a graphic that I can, or even write on my, I think I might write on my whiteboard actually, instead of wasting time creating graphic. And I'm going to list all my books that are on my to be read pile for this year as part of my goals. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to read this. I've just, uh, this is, this is why I'm reading. I've actually started to listen to this on audiobook, but I'm not... I'm not really good at audiobooks, particularly when they're in third person. I'm, I've am i only started really listening to audiobooks last year and enjoying them because I found I like the conversational tone of memoirs or first person stories. So I find, and this one's third person, and I found that 
it didn't make me dislike the story, but I wasn't enjoying it as much as I could. So I'm intrigued to see what I think of this now. But what I might do, I didn't really want to lock myself into this, but I thought that even if I didn't re like originally I was like, okay, I'm going to just pick one out of these couple of books to read. And I normally only read one book at a time, but I might actually decide to make this into like a little mini TBR. And before I do one of these numbers games again, if I decide to do them, which I think I will because they're fun. But before I decide to do that, I think I might read all three of these books and sort of work my way that way. Because it seems a bit pointless to do a numbers game for like every single book that I read. Because the people whose books never get picked are going to be like, what about me? <laughs> I mean, I'm really stoked with all these choices. I mean, I've got like a tiny novel to make you feel like I'm achieving something after reading a ginormous one. I've got like Brandon Sanderson, who I'm really keen to start because a lot of people say that he's amazing. And then I've got Trudy Canavan, which again, people say another amazing fantasy. And it's on my to be read list for this year. And I'm really keen. So, yeah. So I'm going to start with The Magician's Guild. And then maybe The Thoroughbred and then Elantris. But we'll see. Probably do another reading update, I'd say, at some stage. But for now, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This was a ton of fun to capture my unbridled reaction, I guess. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.